So a brutally honest Oscar voter basically said the Irish man was boring and Tarantino was amazing now an American director to win. So basically, but the main point of this article is the movie Little Woman. As voting ends, a female member of the Academy's active branch granted anonymity to speak freely. Sales was films on her previous roles. She's anonymous, so she probably won't really be attacked. And mm-hmm. why? You know, all the SCs are probably mad, you know, about this. Oh my god. You know, oh my god. See, you know, the movies are not masterpieces to her, you know. And so, first movie, she goes over, okay? It's Riddle Woman. It's bad reacted and confusing. I have no idea why they cast four British actor, actresses to play American girls. Emma Watson and Porn Fargo are British, but Taylor Sports is Irish American and Elisa Sillen is Australian. And every time they said they were poor, I gagged maybe not a too beautiful story house. They have a cook. So I have an excuse but I found myself I would have had about Hitler. I don't think that's funny. Meryl's story was funny. I don't think you have a funny, you know, director. Makes 150 a week. That's a lot. But something besides Ron Sorskisi, director of the Iris Man, wouldn't have all the accolades. It's just because this year's a business. I thought it was too long and repetitive. You know, it was great. You know, Francis got when Godfather had different actors play their characters when they were young and when they were old. Besides, they didn't care about the people in the movie. I really like four people, are we? You know, Parasite was beautifully done, did hold up second time, I don't think it's boring films will be nominated for regular films. I think Parasite is worthy of being on there, okay? You know, I think Parasite is actually worthy of being on there, you know. I, I think that like Joker more than I thought would, I put I've seen it for a long time, but it's actually a beautifully done film about mental illness, you know. It's always a good sign. I love 917, but Grand Tarantino's movie is, uh, you know, blah blah blah. I think that... I think this movie, once we're down Hollywood, has the most amount of times to win. And it shows that Little Woman just has no chance of winning. Because this movie was propped up by the critics, it was called a masterpiece, and that's the only way they made a hundred million dollars at the box office. Because you guys, you critics are oh my god, what a woman's the best movie ever, okay? It's about wokeness. And you know what, you have to put it on there or else we get angry, or spy people on Twitter and we get angry, okay? You know, best director. You know, I can't vote for Monster School because so no one want, nobody wants to say it. You know, of course, he said Tarantino because he honored the great American movie. Tarantino for Once Upon a Time, Best Actor, so- Joker, Phoenix for Joker, Best Actress. So, see, yeah, we, we need Saga for Judy. See, one in the Golden Globes, that's not surprising. Brad Pitt, Once Upon a Time, Howard, Best Supporting Actress. Oh my god. You know, I was irritated by a little woman, obviously, you know. Meryl Story's old den was annoying. Bomb so didn't worry. No one really cared about the movie. Once I thought how it was Jojo. I vote for Skeletal Hands even though I didn't like Jojo Rabbit. I do. Because he did something different than i never ever seen it before. So Skeletal Hansen. Best adapted the screenplay. The Two Popes. Best of the screenplay. Well, also thought how it was best anime feature. Not Disney. Not Disney. Disney. She's not. She's not. She's not, she's not one of those people who will buy. Who, who will look pat. You know. Say oh my god. It has Disney's logo. It has Pixar. So we have to vote for it. Well, some more by Paul Alfred is a classic because I said I didn't want to watch the movie about Santa Claus, but I found myself moves on to a story and it's animation. It reminded that you could tra- affect someone else's life by one or two things you do. So, you know, Klaus is a Netflix movie, but documentary view to, you know, it's a, it's basically, you know, Honeyland, which for some reason the New York Times put it on the best movies of the year on the top tens. Best National Pizza, Pangoy, Spain, Best Cinematography, Night 13. Costume design was by the Howard Best from Reading, Ford P. Ferrari, Baker and Hellstein and Judy, and he knows he's not, you know, was put on Hollywood, 913, and Best Whistle Song, Abscene, you know, and, oh, it's Abscene for both, you know, you know, I don't know what's difference in Best Whistle Song, I listen to all of them, but I don't like any of them, I, you know, Best Whistle is facts and game, you know. If we have Bell Angels here, I think she'll probably vote for we but of course they had to snub here, they hate that movie, okay? And have an opportunity to best, uh, you know. You know, then have a, you know, basically. But the main thing is, he doesn't like little women. This person doesn't like little women. Okay, a movie that you that the critics and five people on Twitter popped up and called a masterpiece. Well, it really isn't, okay? You have all these movies that are called a masterpiece, okay? But, of course, they aren't really. Because they're not as great as they make them out to be, you know. I'm not going to go over all the movies again, because there's so many of them, okay? 
you know, not as great as, you know, people make them out to be, okay, you know, so, that's basically it, so, this person is brutally honest and not liking little women, and, and, and this day and age, you're not allowed to have an opinion, constantly to the five people on Twitter and the mainstream media, okay, you're not, con you're not allowed to have your own opinion, and I think people should be allowed to have their own opinion on, you know, movie, what movies are good or bad, you know, and, you know, especially a certain group of, you know, Disney fanboys can't accept the fact that, you know, Disney is not the greatest company in the world, okay? You know, they freaked out when Spider-Man and Spider-Verse won instead of the record, instead of the Precious Incredibles, okay? You know, the movie that they called them, they, oh my god, you have to see The Incredibles, made $600 million. Well, to me, Ghost does not really determine which movies I see, especially if it has Disney's work, because sometimes what bad movies can make a lot of money. Let's look at the Lion King remake. And that's basically it. Goodbye.